At St. Gabriel's, we are committed to living and teaching our core values of integrity, caring, and excellence. We asked our faculty, what does excellence look like in our classrooms and across the campus? Excellence in academics is taking each child who they are, their body, their soul, their spirit, and their mind, and really diving deep. It's all about self-knowledge. Who is this child in front of us? Who does God see them as? And so our job as educators here to perpetuate that excellence is to look through the vision of the God vision on who is this child. And so it's not just the child here in isolation, it's their family together. And so I love that journey here at St. Gabriel's because we really get to know the child on who they are as a whole person in the realm of family life, in our school community life. And really, when you come to St. Gabriel's, you become a part of this family and it's God's family. Our students have gotten so on fire for coding and robotics. It has been just the most amazing experience of my career just, just to see them light up and, and embrace it and not be scared of it. I remember whenever I first started it, there was a lot of apprehension and now it's like, oh yeah, we get to code today. And so just seeing them light up and being able to just grapple with those concepts and really make them their own has just been so inspiring. I hope that the major takeaway is that anything's possible. I hope that this space really allows them to become a maker and a creator and feel confident that they have the tools to be lifelong learners and know that whatever it is that they're thinking of or whatever it is that they're dreaming of is possible. I have been here a long time and I wouldn't be here if I didn't feel it was excellent and I'm really proud to be part of this community. Excellence at St. Gabriel's to me uh, involves mostly by active listening, meaning that this administration listens to the parents, they listen to the teachers, and then they enact policies and activities and things like that that reflect what they've heard. One great example is the new band room that we have this year, which was a direct result of listening to parents who expressed, oh, we want some more creative arts opportunities, including band. And one of the great new additions this year is that band room and our band program, and just that constant expanding. And I think the fact that the school listens to the teachers, listens to the parents, and then moves forward with that, it doesn't just sit stagnant, moves forward, that, that to me is excellent. Here at St. Gabriel's, um, part of excellence is helping our students um, take that responsibility and independence piece of what is their job as a student here at St. Gabriel's and what is my job as a teacher. And so every year at the beginning of the year, we really work through what do we want our classroom to feel like? What, what do we want it to sound like? What do we want it to look like? And how do we want it to be a positive place for us to foster our education and to grow in all different ways? When I think about excellence here, um, a lot of our kids would probably go straight to wins and losses especially in our athletic realm. But I think about it starting in PE with how we teach our kids right and wrong, learning how to be a good sport, how to work in a team, how to win and lose correctly. So to me, excellence a lot of times, especially for students' minds might think, hey, did I win or did I lose? But it's about how you did win or lose. Did you do the right thing? Were you a good teammate that day? Are you nice to your peers? It's not just what happens on the court or on the field, but it's what our kids are taking home with them for their life lessons. We see so many students that radiate excellence. I have two students that were my own children that went through St. Gabriel's, Taylor and Trent. Taylor's 30 now and Trent's 26. Everyone will ask them, where did you go to school? Even their professors, and what do they say? St. Gabriel's, excellence.